this is week five in the weekly challenge to build your confidence in having the sex talks. How did it go last week in setting a bodily boundary? How did your kids react? Let me know in the comments. This week, we're gonna talk about clothes. Specifically, we're gonna look at how you currently talk about the clothes that your child wears and how the clothes talk is a part of the modern day sex talks. I hope you've established some of your family values by answering the questions from the week three challenge, because when it comes to talking about clothes or as many parents would say to their kid, appropriate clothes, your values will influence your opinion. I'm Kathleen and I make videos for parents on how to have the modern day sex talks. I get a lot of parents reaching out to me about their kids' clothes. Actually, it's only been parents of girls or individuals who identify as girls who have reached out saying they have difficulty talking about clothes. They'll say to me, how do I get my teen to stop wearing such revealing clothes? Or how do I say booty shorts are inappropriate for her age? I recognize that in our society, the body, but mainly the feminine body, has been objectified. There is pressure from the entertainment, advertising, porn, and fashion industry to dress in a certain way that appeals to the traditional male gaze. If our kids are receiving these messages, yet they don't understand that they're being influenced by these industries to appease these traditional ideals, then trying to have a conversation with them about inappropriate clothes will most likely sound to them like you just don't like what they're wearing. As a society, we have decided that clothes can be an expression of how we feel, who we are, how much we earn, and what we believe. As parents, we know that in our society, people will make snap judgments about us based off of what we're wearing. They'll most likely decide our gender, our approximate age, our race, our social status, as well as our religious beliefs. We know that, but our kids don't. Quick side note here before we get to the challenge. You and I both know that the societal level changes that need to happen around the idea that sex sells or the feelings of entitlement to a woman's body or feminine sexuality or the male gaze are not just going to disappear with one talk with your child about clothing. But addressing these issues and bringing them to the forefront of conversations about society's viewing of women's clothes in no way harms your child. But that's not the focus of this video, so I'm not gonna dive into those societal issues at this time. Asking our kids throughout childhood what they like about their clothes gives us an opportunity to hear how they're perceiving themselves. It gives us a glimpse into how their clothes makes them feel and why they choose certain clothing items over others. This week's challenge is going to have you talk to your kid about their clothing choices. It doesn't sound like a typical sex talk, but you'll see that by the middle and high school age, it's very relevant to the sex talks. In the primary age, let your kid pick out their own clothes to wear. See what they put on and then ask them, what do you like about those clothes? Is that outfit appropriate for the weather outside? Does the outfit fit? For this question, you are listening to your child describe what they like about their clothes. Maybe it's the color or the character they love and want to wear. Maybe it's the same thing their friend wears. Maybe it's the feel of the fabric or that it's a new piece of clothing. Asking them this question often will remind you that they're an individual and they'll prefer certain clothes over others for a variety of reasons. The outfit they choose for themselves may not be what you would choose. So when they're a teenager, try and remember that. These two questions guide the conversation around appropriateness. Wearing clothes that are appropriate for the weather will be a lifelong skill. Learning that there will be consequences to not wearing weather appropriate clothes. For example, maybe your feet are wet all day. Maybe you get a sunburn. Maybe you're so cold that you can't do the outside activity. Or maybe you wore ill-fitting clothes that made you uncomfortable for the majority of the day. In the intermediate age, again, let your kids pick out their own clothes to wear, and then after they're dressed, ask them, what do you like about those clothes? How do you feel wearing those clothes? Is it acceptable to make fun of someone for wearing clothes? For these two questions, the reasoning is the same as it was in the primary age. You're getting a glimpse into their motivation for the clothes that they choose. Asking them now how they feel wearing those clothes gives you the opportunity to use adjectives like confident, comfortable, and proud. You may even hear your intermediate age kids say that they feel like a teenager or they feel like they look like you. They're taking note of what you wear, what their friends wear, and what the cool teenagers are wearing. They're excited to grow up, so take the opportunity to share with them how you feel when you wear your clothes. Now this last question is important to repeat often at this age. Bullying is not okay, yet kids continue to be bullied and made fun of based on the clothes that they wear. Remind your child that they have chosen an outfit that they love and they feel comfortable and confident in, and that other people will choose outfits that they love and feel comfortable and confident in. So it's never okay to make fun of someone for wearing clothes. 
in the preteen and teen years. If you haven't already been asking your kids these questions already, start doing it now. Listen to them and don't critique their responses. Feel free to share with them what you like about your clothes and how you feel when you wear it. Now remember, our middle and high school age kids are probably being influenced by the entertainment, advertising, porn, and fashion industries. So if you aren't having candid conversations with them about these industries, they may never realize that they are being motivated to choose certain types of clothes based off of these influences. What snap judgment would a person make about you based off of that outfit? Does wearing sexy clothes mean that that person wants to have sex? Why are certain clothes heavily advertised and promoted for female bodies? And how does this relate to the traditional male gaze? The conversation here is not whether the clothes are appropriate or not, but to recognize that some people will judge others based off of what they're wearing. Now, of course, it's never okay to judge someone based off of what they're wearing, but of course, some people are judging. This question aims to have them answer what they would like people to assume about them. Ask them, does wearing sexy clothes mean that the person wants to have sex? Many young people have this idea that if a person is wearing revealing or sexy clothing, that they are having sex or want to have sex. However, people wear clothes for many reasons and wanting to feel sexy can be one of those reasons, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they want to have sex. It seems like a no brainer to us adults, but to an adolescent, this can be quite eye opening. Now, this last question is definitely geared towards the high school age group. Talking about the advertising and entertainment industries is media literacy 101. And, and we can have conversations about advertising with our young kids, but this question specifically is geared towards the high school age group. At this age, explaining who is creating that ad or movie or TV show helps our kids to understand what is being sold to them and why it's being sold in that specific way. It allows for them to have an introspective look as to why they are choosing to wear something. Are their clothing choices truly an independent choice or are there influencing factors? And if so, what are they? So that's your challenge for this week. Over the next seven days, pick one of the questions based off of your child's age and have a talk about clothes and or share with your child what you like about the clothes that you wear and how you feel when you're wearing those clothes. Now, parents, if you found this video to be helpful, please go on and give it a like. I'm Kathleen and I'll be back next week with challenge number six.